Hey guys, what's going on? We are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be showing you guys how to make a chair in Roblox Studio. Something like this, but it's going to be better than that because I have actually improved building. I made this about a year ago and I'm going to make a much better one today. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make one of these. Now, if you have not watched my Roblox Studio Basics on Building tutorial, I recommend going and watching that if you're a complete beginner to Roblox Studio. But if you already know about all the main tools, then you can just watch this video. But uh, please uh, check out my channel if uh, you guys like Roblox Studio and stuff, so yeah. But anyways, we're probably going to get started with this chair, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to insert a part course a block and I'm going to just resize it to my liking I'm gonna change my increment here I'm gonna re actually grab a new part but I'm just gonna resize it to my liking I'm actually gonna go into the toolbox and insert a NPC so I know how to size things just to be sure you know Okay, perfect, perfect. We're gonna just make it a bit bigger. All right, that's gonna be, a, this is gonna be the size of the legs of the chair, like that. So we're gonna obviously color it to whatever color we'd like. I'm gonna color it a light wood color, just for, um, for looks. I'm gonna make it a nice light color. I'm gonna go put it, yeah, up to here is gonna be fine for someone sitting in it. Now, I'm gonna uh, duplicate this by hitting Control D. Actually, I'm going to turn off collisions. I'm gonna duplicate it by, what is this? What the heck? I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting Control D. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. You know, it doesn't matter. We just gotta, see kind of how big this NPC is that's gonna be perfect and we're just gonna move these exactly the same amount it's got to be exact it doesn't have to be but I like it too I think that's about the same about two studs in between each actually it might be one in yeah I think it is all right there we go so we got our four legs of the chair Four legs of the chair are actually done at this point. Now we're going to add a, another part on top of these to be what the player actually sits on. So we're going to add something to be what the player actually sits on. I'm just going to scale it, sc use the scale tool to do this, and bang, look at that. That was pretty easy. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna move these in one increment. Move this one increment. Make sure it's all lined up and stuff. All that, all that good stuff. And there we got our base. But now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this part. I'm gonna move it over here a bit, and I'm gonna rotate it. Now I'm gonna rotate it like this. I'm just gonna try to get it as exact as possible right there there we go there's the base of our chair for the most part but i actually want to add a little design to my chair so i'm gonna do this but i'm going to add a few of these one two no we're gonna keep it one 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 all right so there we have that now i'm gonna duplicate this again and scale it this way now I'm just going to go up a bit. I'm going to make it a I'm going to make it a bit higher and I'm going to I'm going to make it black. Oh, see we don't want that. I'm going to change my thing to 0 0.1 my increments. Just get it a little bit less. There we go. I'm gonna move it one over. I'm going to take these and I'm going to shrink them one. 
And I'm also going to shrink them one this way because I'm going to be putting another one of these black things on that side too. Because So I uh, duplicate that and bam, there we have the base of our chair for the most part. Okay, now that we have that, actually, I think this would look better if I, oh jeez, I think this chair might look a bit better if I made these black, so then it fits with the theme. Okay, and now, it, uh, I'm going to add something other than just a wooden surface for the player to sit on. You know what? I'm going to actually color all of this a slightly darker wood color. How about this? There we go. That's a pretty nice color. That's a pretty nice wood color. Now I'm just going to add, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change the increment a bit. All right. So I'm going to change the increment a bit on each side just so it fits our little thing here. All right. I messed up. I got to select it. All right. I'm going to color it red just so we can see it. Put it up a tiny bit, and there we go. Oh, looks like it's uh, a bit odd. There we go. See, no clipping underneath it anymore, and bang. You pretty much got your chair. Now, if you test it out, make sure you anchor it. But now, if you actually test out your chair, if you test it out in the workspace, in your uh, tester area, you can't actually sit in it, can you? No, you cannot. You can't actually sit in it. It won't work. But this one, you can sit in. That's one I made a long time ago. See, all of our problems will be fixed if we add a seat. Now, one of the only ways to add a seat is to right-click somewhere in your studio, insert object, and search for object, seat, and insert the normal seat. Now this is your seat. I'm going to resize it a bit just so it fits our little chair. But I am going to go down here and look at its properties because this is important. Look at look at the surface. We're going to find out which one is the front surface. Okay, so since this is the front surface, it should be seating us the right way. But I am going to just make this a bit bigger. I'm just going to put it on here. Now, let's test out if our seat works. Our seat is working, and it's pretty much ready to go. But there's one thing I have to do. Make sure it's anchored. There's one last thing I have to do, because you have the red there. You don't want the seat to be shown. So I'm going to go into the properties, transparency, and put it all the way up. So you can't see the seat, but it's still there. I'm also going to uncheck can collide. So there we go, and that's our chair. Let's test it out. That is our simple chair made in Roblox Studio. There we go, it's perfect, it's normal, it's just a nice chair, nice little chair. Now, um, if you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. It will really, uh, I'll, and I'll, I read all my comments, so I'll try my best to respond to it. And yeah, that's uh, for the most part gonna be it for this video, but if you do want to know how to make this chair instead of having to move around all these parts, if you want to make it a model, you can select all of them. And see this group button right here? Hit that. And bam, you have your chair. Just one model. One model. Um, right click on this. Hit rename. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it uh, chair. Actually, I'm going to name it. I'm going to make it more descriptive more descriptive wooden wooden chair i'm gonna name it wooden chair bang now that's that's not so hard so now we have our chair model with a seat and all 
and you can use it in as many games and things as you want. You can resize it, you can make it bigger, make it smaller. It's really up to you what you do with that at this point, but I just wanted to show you guys how to make this because uh, sometimes on Twitter I get a lot of people asking me, how do I build a chair? How do I make a seat? So I, 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 will, so I made this video for you guys that are wondering how to make a chair in Roblox Studio. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah. A few minutes later. If you guys did enjoy this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll uh, really help me out if you guys did enjoy it. But, uh, if you guys did find this helpful at all, please leave a comment down below. And make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. And peace out. Bye.